What's up, YouTube? We're back with another episode of What the Hell Am I Doing? Today, I've got a really cool place for you. It was built in the late 80s. It was renovated about 15 years ago, and now it's been abandoned for about a year. The place I'm talking about is this beauty right here behind me. I think this one's gonna be really, really cool. So why don't we get inside and see if we can figure out what happened to this place. Okay, guys, we're gonna start this one just outside in the front of the house here. We'll take a quick look around outside, and then I think we'll work our way inside. Like I mentioned in the intro a moment ago, this place was built in the mid to late 1980s, and this is absolutely a representation of how things used to be. A very big house on a very big property, and I mean, it is big. Look at the size of the front yard here. It's absolutely huge as it goes out to the road. You just don't see this anymore. Now, this house and a bunch of other ones have been purchased by developers, and eventually they're all going to get torn down and replaced with 97 new houses, if you can believe that. Beautiful front garden. Obviously, now it's been overtaken with weeds. Got a nice double car garage, and they had a beautiful veranda on the front of the house here. This would have been a great spot to hang out, as you know. I love having cigars. This would have been one of those places. You could have your guests, you could have you know drinks out front, you could hang out here. Really nice. And you can see it's got that classic kind of 80s look to it, with the shutters on the windows and the color of the brick and just everything about the styling outside. Very 1980s. Pretty cool though. And of course the garden here just wraps around the walkway, which is very nice. Very nice. That's a beautiful big window there too. Look at all these flowers in front of it. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. Definitely like the big gardens here. Let's work our way around back so you guys can see what that's all about. Now, people are cutting the grass here. I know if people have mentioned it in the past, they don't believe a house is abandoned because the grass is cut. In this case, the town requires people to cut the lawns, so somebody is maintaining the properties, but that's really about all they're doing. So this is the pathway around the bell. Oh. Look at this. That's weird. Huh. So there's a big hole blown in the side of the house here, and it actually looks like it's been blown there because the bricks are black. Even the east trough is kind of blackened, and all the overhang stuff has fallen down, so that's weird. Hmm. Maybe we'll see what happens when we get inside. Okay, so this is the backyard here. Oh, wow. It's huge. It's just as big as the front yard. This property is absolutely massive. Of course, they have a beautiful big back deck there. Oh, look at this, they even have a hot tub. Oh wow, this place is wild. Yeah, whoever was living here before, they were living it up. Hopefully they got paid a, a pretty penny for their house. Because this was a nice house. Look at that door. What the? Door is just absolutely blown apart. This must be an outdoor cabinet for the uh, for the hot tub. Again, they got some beautiful gardens around the deck. Yes, they're overgrown, but you can see when they lived here, they did care. They also have a chimney. That's cool. And they got a raised garden bed there, so they probably grew vegetables at one point. Take a look at this back deck. This is really nice. It's an interlock deck too, which is kind of unusual. You don't usually see that. The interlock would be quite expensive. We even had a nice gazebo out here at one point. This is the back side of the house. I'll give you a better view of this in a minute when I get back in the yard more. But those are the double doors that would go into the kitchen. Look at that stained glass. Wow. That's pretty nice. Blue hummingbirds? Hmm. That guy must be colorblind. <laughs> and of course, the deck goes all the way across here. Oh, look at the windows there. Lots of windows in the back side of this house. Lots of natural light going in. Of course, they got another garden here. We'll go down these steps, I guess. Yep. So this goes back to the front of the house here. As you can see, the gardens are very overgrown and not maintained, but they have gardens everywhere. In its prime, this house would have been absolutely beautiful to look at. Okay, let's go a little further into the yard and then we'll go inside. So I think at some point they probably had a shed here. 
and that's been since removed. But look at this. This is very cool. They got a big fire pit over here. I would have loved this. This is where everybody would hang out every Saturday night. Come to the fire pit, hang out. Just needs a TV out here. Yeah, this is an absolutely huge yard. This is ridiculous. Yeah, so this is an absolutely beautiful fire pit area. I mean, they had somebody do it obviously properly. Look at the stonework. They got some stones to sit on. And it's actual proper fire pit. I wonder if the city would actually allow this to be used still. Look at that, they got proper tree coverage, giving them some privacy and seclusion. This is actually on a main road here, which is crazy, but you'd never know. Beautiful yard, lots of big trees. And of course, that's the house there. Give you a look at it from back here. You can see it's a nice looking place. It's definitely got that 80s look to it. So there's one more thing I noticed over here. They do have a shed left, so let's take a look at that. See what's in there. If we can even get in it. It's pretty cool. Does it open? It does. What do we got in here? We don't have much. <laughs> Empty shed. Looks like they kept the tractor or the lawnmower in here and that was about it. And of course they got rules that probably don't apply to this place. Pretty cool shed, I like it. Oh, look at that ladder. That's cool, somebody made that. Wild. Of course this is going back out into the yard. Again, if you guys had any doubts from what I've been saying, the yard is absolutely huge. There's the fire pit over there. As I pan back towards the house, you can just see it's, it's absolutely massive. What a yard, what a house. I think we should stop dilly-dallying out here now. I think we should work our way inside and see if we can figure out what's going on here. Okay guys, so we're just inside the front door here. I think this one's gonna be really, really cool today. So let's not fool around too much. Let's see if we can figure out about this place. Right away, get a very cool front door with stained glass in it. Now this is very mid 90s looking if you ask me. Still, it's a neat little door. I like stained glass, it's always that nice for a house. This place has really cool trim inside and uh, baseboards too. Really tall baseboards that match the trim around the doors. Obviously this is all modern stuff, but it's still quite neat. Now, from what I understand, this house was built around 1986, 1987. But as you can see, much of it has been updated probably in the last 12, 15 years tops. Now, if I turn around the front door, this is what you see when you first come into the house here. You got a very nice staircase going upstairs. It's a very open concept house. If you look that way, you look this way, lots of light coming through. So why don't we work our way to the left first to see what we find over here. Maybe see if we can figure out where all this debris came from. It's pretty crazy. So right here we got a bathroom. Again, everything in here is very modern. That's a new toilet, new floors, new baseboards. Vanity is missing. We got a modern-ish type light in here. Of course, they have a very nice frosted window for privacy. This actually would have been a powder room, not a bathroom, <laughs> as I'm looking at it. Still, let's go this way. So to my right here, there's a door. This is just a closet, but I really like that built-in. That's cool. Obviously, this is probably new as well. It's a nice organizer, though. Very neat. Oh, look, I just noticed they have pocket doors. Well, it's not a French door though, but still, it's a pocket door to the laundry room. That's kind of neat. I guess this house is going to have some surprises. Wow, look at this. Now there's a lot of debris on the walls. 
Okay, you can see the original flooring from the 80s right there. So when this house was first built, they had that linoleum stuff and they put all this uh, laminate hardwood on top of it. Again, you got another frosted window there. Some decent looking cabinets. These are probably 90s or 2000s cabinets. They got the newer hinges. Let's go in here. Okay, so this is the garage. Look at all the brick debris here. Okay, so that's that hole in the wall. Okay, we saw this when we were walking around outside. I pointed this out when we were out there, but there was a hole blown through the bricks and it looks to me like it was blown in towards the house. And that's what you're seeing here. Look at all that. All this got blown towards the house from that outside wall. It's absolutely crazy. That's a fairly decent sized garage. And these are late 80s Craftsman Sears garage door openers. I know this because I had one at the house I grew up in. Everything in here screams the 80s. You had irrigation system for the sprinkler. That's pretty cool. Looks like they set that up in 2001 from what I see there. And that's obviously the back door to the backyard, but it looks like that's been pounded in too. Now what it looks like is there was a police raid or there was police training here. So they were doing a bunch of particular drills and situations and they were using the house for practice it would look. But as you can see all this black stuff that's on the wall, this is from uh, charges to blow the doors open and it's everywhere everywhere look at this it's all over these walls so that's most likely what happened here now if we turn around here we go right back to the hallway we started again that's that stairwell from this angle here very nice staircase going upstairs at one point this would have been a very nice house obviously before all this happened so if we go this way looks like we have the family room it's a pretty nice open space, especially when you turn around and see <laughs> that massive kitchen behind you. Yeah, this is a very, very nice space. Unfortunately, at one point in time, there was a uh, fireplace here, but it looks like they probably covered that up when they were doing the police training. It looks like they tore it out because I can see right there, this drywall is dated October 13th, 23. So this happened recently, obviously. But this is very cool. Look at this beautiful stained glass. That's amazing. Look at that. Beautiful. Can you imagine leaving that behind? Absolutely amazing. And if you turn around, look at this kitchen. Absolutely huge. I love this island they have here. This would have been probably the, dinner, the kitchen table. They probably had some chairs sitting around this. Very nice, it's a marble top. Those are nice cabinets on the wall. I love pointing out the ones with the glass doors, but it's true, those are beautiful. You see everything inside. And that backsplash, that's super modern. All this was probably done in the last 10, 15 years. Just imagine that and then you get bought out by a developer. Now this is like I was saying, these are police training bullets. So if you ask me, they've definitely been doing police training in here. That's exactly what's been going on. And of course you have the double doors going out to the yard, which we already saw. It's a huge backyard with an amazing fire pit back there. Just a really cozy yard that would be great to hang out in. Continue this way. Oh, it looks like they had a beer fridge or something or a bar fridge here, yeah. Storage there, that's cool. Of course, they have another island here. This one has the sink in it. Actually, there's two sinks in here. I'll show you guys. So this one here is probably a vegetable sink or like a bar sink. And then the one over here, this was the main sink. And of course, it's a feature I love to point out every single time I see it. I love when a sink as this kind of a view. That's just amazing. A big sink by a big, beautiful kitchen window. All this cabinetry here looks fairly modern. It's fairly new. Like I've been saying, everything here is probably the last 10, 15 years at the most. Again, the backsplash here matches over there. 
This is where the oven would have been here. Very cool, very nice trim work. And of course, this is the other side of the island here. And this is looking out to the kitchen from this perspective. Very cool. Take a look at the fridge. This is a fairly new uh, fridge here. It's empty, it's clean. I'm not surprised, but it still stinks. Whew. Everything here else is gonna be empty otherwise. Now, if you look this way, I'm pretty sure this here would be considered the dining room. It's just off the kitchen. Looks like at one point they had a light or a chandelier up there. So you would have had a dining room table sitting in the middle. And just what a beautiful view. I mean, we were already out front. But when you look from inside and you see these gardens and everything as you view it, this is just absolutely stunning. What a beautiful place to have a dining room table, have family over for a special dinner. Just great stuff. And of course, if you turn around from here, that looks out towards the stairs behind me where we started the video. And this looks back towards the kitchen. Okay, let's work our way upstairs. See what happened up there. Pretty shocking what's happened down here. I can't believe that all this debris is probably from a charge being blown off outside the garage. Like even some of the debris hit here, look at that. See, there's pieces of brick inside there. That's crazy. Okay, let's work our way up the stairs, see what we got upstairs. Debris here too, <laughs> absolutely nuts. Well, I can tell you guys right now, this is from the explosives. Wow, absolutely wild, look at this. So obviously there was a chandelier or something hanging up there at one point in time, you have the hook for it still. And this is looking down the stairs from up here. They have a nice newel post for otherwise very generic looking stairs. Look at this door. Yeah, this door was definitely blown open. That's where all the charge residues from. Whoa. <laughs> okay, <laughs> there's the door. See that? Yeah, this thing just got demolished. Again, all the flooring in here is very nice. This is probably the original hardwood to when they built the house. The biggest thing I noticed that's different are the baseboards. They don't match downstairs. So most likely everything up here is probably gonna be more uh, representative of how the house looked when they built it. Pretty crazy. Well, they even put a hole in the wall there. <laughs> and they got nice crown moldings going throughout this house too, or up, at least this room, I should say. But so far, every room has had crown molding. All right, let's go back out to the hallway here. Look at that door. <laughs> that's nuts. Now you can see all the black stuff that's splattered all over the wall, on the ceiling. All this is from an explosive charge that they did. Let's go this way. This is quite a bathroom, look at this. Wow, very modern. I love the huge window, letting in lots of light. Of course, you get a nice look out at the neighborhood. Beautiful bathroom. Toilet's a little gross looking though. That's a really deep tub. And there's pubes and all sorts of weird hairs in there. <laughs> but yeah, that's a, that's a really deep tub compared to most. And yeah, if you look around here, this tiling is much more modern. They have the glass tile in the middle separating the bottom, the top of the tile. And then you got the insert there for the shampoo and everything. And that's all glass tile. That's a really cool modern shower head, I'll say that. Very cool faucet set too. Even have the waterfall tub faucet. That's neat. Of course, you turn around, you got a very modern, man, man, ugh, very modern vanity. I can't say that today. And most of the knobs have been stolen, so they must have been really nice knobs because you only got these ones left. Seems like the, ones, the other ones, people couldn't resist them. Irresistible knobs. I like that sink. And again, they got more of the uh, glass tile as a backsplash here. Pretty cool. Again, this is the view out front here. Very nice property, as you guys saw earlier. Let's go out to the hallway. 
again, look at this destruction and everything. It's just, it's everywhere. It's a shame, but you know what? It is what it is. Otherwise, we wouldn't have gotten to see this house. Wow. So this is the master bedroom up here. Obviously, with all the wainscoting, this is definitely the fanciest room we've seen up here. Very cool. Got another door that was blown off. Yeah, the wainscoting is really nice. I really like that feature of this room. And of course, they also have crown molding running around the roof. The ceiling line, I should say. Very nice. If we go this way, looks like we're going to have a his and her closet. So this one here was a big walk-in. Really what big walk-in. They've taken everything out of it, unfortunately. But this would have been a huge closet at one point in time. And then right across from it, they have the mirrored closet, which was probably his. <laughs> Let's be real. And this is just a modest, regular closet. Now what's cool is when you go into this bathroom here, look at that. That's a beautiful tub. Again, it's a fairly deep tub. It looks like it might have a bit more of a modern faucet set for it. But look at the view. I mean, they have a beautiful view of their backyard from up here. And look at this shower. That's a beautiful shower. Look at that big glass wall, the big glass door. Very sturdy looking handle. You go inside here, the tiling is very nice. I like that, but what's even cooler, again, they have the bench. So I guess if you had a partner or somebody to want to watch a shower, they could come in here and sit with you. And it even has a faucet <laughs> to keep this seat wet. So I don't know what that's about. I guess so your butt doesn't stick to it. <laughs> somebody tell me in the comments. It's an interesting shower head they left behind, but I really like this one above. I think that one's the cool one there. It's also cool how they have lights in here. And again, they have another built-in uh, shampoo and soap holder. But yeah, this is the shower from inside. The fact that it's all glass lets a lot of natural light in, so I really like that. This is a cool shower. Of course, we've got to check the toilet. The Brown Bomber has not been here. It's a Brown Bomber free house so far. What do we got here? Medicine cabinet? Yep, it's empty. It's cool. It's a nice room. It's a pretty fancy house. I'm not going to lie, guys. I would love to have lived here. It's a very nice place. People who live ritzy live, live a good life, I think. Look down the stairs from up here. Very cool. It's just the destruction up here. Absolutely insane. Like, look at the residue from the explosives on this wall. <laughs> That's nuts. Every door has been blown off. Let's check out this spare room here. Wow. Again, you got another door that's been blown off. So that hole in the closet actually was blown through by explosives. Look at the residue all over the wall and the ceiling. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Look, the curtains were still here. Obviously they got blown down. And of course, that's the view from up here out to their big backyard once again. And they blew another hole in the wall right here. Again, you can see the residue everywhere. It's absolutely wild. I've never seen anything like this before. This is really cool. What do you guys think? It's a little different than usual. I guess this would have been a linen closet here. Surprised they didn't blow the door off of that. I guess there was no thread in there. I mean, what's gonna happen? A towel is gonna hold somebody hostage. <laughs> All right, and this is the last bedroom up here. This is the smallest bedroom. It looks like they uh, tried to remove some of the electrical from the looks of things. Again, looks like some crazy stuff went, in, went on in here. They stole some of the crown molding. <laughs> and of course, another window looking out to the yard. And this is the hole that was blown in this wall. Yeah, the destruction is absolutely unbelievable. This must have been extremely loud for the people living in the neighborhood as neighbors still. Like to hear this going on must have been really interesting. All right, let's work our way down to the basement now. And we'll wrap this one up. 
crazy explorer. Again, there's that front door. Oh, there is Ethan, everybody. I'm here with him today. Make sure you check him out. His link is in the description. All right, so these are the stairs to the basement. They even have fancy uh, railing going down. Let's see what we find down here. You can see there's more training bullets, so obviously they use down here too. So they got a fully finished basement down here. Do the lights still work? Yes, they do. Wow, okay, that's cool. Yeah, so this is a cool little landing to the basement. They also have a uh, pocket door down here. Oh, look at that, beautiful. So they got French door pocket doors down here. And I can see there's some red paint there. It looks like when they're using police training, they were shooting something that either released blood or they were shooting uh, colored bullets that left little paint marks, which is pretty wild. So this is, must have been the main entertainment area of the basement. I would assume this is where the TV was set up. They probably had a DVD player up there or something at one point in time, maybe a stereo system here or a surround sound. It's pretty neat. They got lots of track lighting, pot lights. Look at that tiny window going outside. That's all the natural light it gets down here. But it's a cool little room. This is a very great entertainment space. Looks like they had a bar down here. I would say that's what this is. Pretty neat. No wet bar though, there's no water or anything. Is that a mirror? Yeah, that's a mirror. That lights up too. So that would have been like a display kind of area. They had a couple cabinets here that had been removed. And then you got behind the bar here. Over here, looks like they got another entertainment space. So let's see what this is. Yeah, this is cool. It's another entertainment area, kind of isolated from the rest of the basement. You got more cabinets up there. I wonder why. Over here might have been a TV or something. Again, you got those red marks there. Those must be on the training bullets. They must leave red paint or something when they hit the wall. Because you can see there's more bullets here. Oh yeah, and there's capsules. Look, see there's red capsules with them. So that's what's leaving the red marks, like blood. Interesting. And if you turn around over here, they have a uh, cork board on the wall. That's neat. Yeah, this definitely would have been like an entertainment area. There was probably couches, TVs, whatnot. It's an interesting space. It's really big and kind of winding, which is strange. We got a space behind the bar here. Let's check that out. Okay. This is weird. So this goes to the other side. Oh, okay. All right, I get it. So here, they had a full-size fridge. It says fridge right there. So the fridge sat here, blocking this way out. But they had a little room back here for, looks like for the lighting and just various things. It also goes down this way, so why don't we check this out? This is like a secret corridor going through the house. Yeah, wires here, they're obviously not live anymore. All right, so this takes us to like a workout room. But yeah, if I turn around here, I just want to show you this again. So I think what was probably mounted here is they had an alarm system or some kind of a security system and that was for all the cameras and whatnot. Now it's obviously been torn out. This also doubled as a closet space. As you can see, there's a hanger. And if you look over here, looks like they had the cable TV box there and probably a TV mounted on the wall up there. Now, the reason I say this is probably a workout room, it's mirrored. Usually workout rooms are mirrored like that. But if you look around, every wall in here is mirrored, except for the one that's missing right there. So that's pretty neat. So they probably had a TV on for some entertainment, maybe some music. And that was pretty much everything that happened. Okay, so this house, it's from 1988, you got a date right here, August 16th, 1988. 
was when the power panel became alive. And up here it says Ontario New Warranty Program, August 26, 1988. So there you have it. This house was built or finished being built in August of 90, or 88. And now it's been abandoned for about a year because we've been watching it since last September. This is pretty cool before I leave this room. Look at those beautiful rounded corners on the bulkhead up there. You don't see rounded corners like that very often, but when you do, they're usually very nice. That's a very nice touch, even though it's in the basement. So back here looks like it's the last room of the house. Yeah. And this room is basically a mechanical room. You got the furnace here, the dehumidifier. You got more electric panels there. Somebody was here last for the furnace in July of 2018. If you turn around, they had some makeshift shelving in the basement here. A little bit of storage, basically. And back here, it looks like there's a sump room. Yep, that's exactly what this is. So they had a sump hole there. And if they ever cut the power off, this place will flood real quick. Well, believe it or not, guys, that's all there is for this place. It's a bit of a shorter video today. Really wasn't much left behind in this house, but it was a really, really cool place that I thought I had to show you. So I hope you guys agree with me. Make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and share this one out if you can. All right, guys, that's all the time we have for this explore. I hope you guys enjoyed coming on this with us. This was a really, really cool place. It was built in 1988, as we just found, and now it's been abandoned for about a year. And his future is not looking too good as we know this place is going to be knocked down. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and share it out if you can. The next goal for the channel is to get to 5,000 subscribers. I need all of you to help me out, so if you've not done so, please make sure you hit that button. It doesn't cost you a thing. Well, that's all the time we have for today's Explore. Make sure you hit that subscribe button there. Check out last week's video there. Check out the random video up there. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for tuning in.